Hello and welcome, my name is Ripper, and now we can start the new game series, 60 seconds. In nutshell, we have 60 seconds to go as much as possible stuff to our bunker and try to survive long as possible. Let's go. Okay, classic. Actually, let's take what was the second challenge. Uh, yeah, let's take the classic one. Okay, Atomic Drill, Apocalypse. Scavenger, sorry, well, let's take Atomic Drill. Learn all about how the scavenger is all about the event of nuclear because this tutorial is 100% approved by the establishment. Yeah, let's check the other ones. Apocalypse, the full Atomic experience, scavenger around your house for supplies and then sorry about the boss Apocalypse in your fallout shelter. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have a few different... Um, Difficulty. Little boy. Easy. Explore, exploration time. 20 seconds. Health issues. Rare. Scavenger time. 60 seconds. Frag Virtual equipment. Starting. Socket shelter. Prepare, prepare style. Unwanted visitors. Few. Packets would get holiday luggage. Trouble sometimes. Fat man. Explore time. 10 seconds. Health issues. Common. Scavenger time. 60 seconds. Frag equipment. Average. Stock shelter. Some chunk. Unwanted visitors. Some. I can choose get work brief get trouble often. Sorry bomba, aka hi. Exploration time zero second health issues call nine one one scavenger time sixty second fragile equipment like a cl like glass stock at other empty unwanted <laughs> visitor holders packet with nothing trouble every day. Let's take uh, easy one and let's see okay we have two characters uh, let's take the guy and let's go. Okay, okay. Let's just hope the best. Okay. Okay, the timer is already on. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Okay, I don't think that is the timer. Like yet. Okay, there's map, flashlight, gas mask, ammo. Okay, the, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, um, okay, there's the bunker. Okay. Uh, let's take the kid. Okay, there's the second kid. Okay, we can't take that one yet. Oh, fuck. Okay, soup. Let's take the soup. Okay. Help it down. Okay, let's take the second kid. Uh, okay, I uh, okay some book I guess. Okay, um, water, the soup. Uh, let's take the second water. Okay, dump. Okay, water and soup. Oh, oh, f okay, I think we failed. <laughs> Dark and cover, judgment unlocked. Okay, keep up with the world even after it ends. Okay, if the guy... <laughs> <laughs> failed that, didn't it fail? <laughs> okay, let's see. Yep, <laughs> this word bun. <laughs> Okay, so there's gonna be some decisions. Yes and no. Okay, let's try. <laughs> this was literally the shortest. <laughs> like, um, time to die. Less than four minutes. Okay. Classic. Apocalypse. Easy. Start. Okay, now we know what we need to do. Okay. Okay, 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 there's med kit. Okay, water. And, uh, okay, we can probably take one water and the uh, first kid. Then the second kid. Actually, let's take the kid and the soup now and dump there. Then the gun and second kid. Okay. Okay, then wife. 
soup, water. Okay. Water. Okay. Okay, nothing there. Uh, briefcase. Water. Okay. Uh, random boys on a soup. Soup. Okay. I'm gonna try to get the axe. Let's go. Okay. Home sweet home archivent unlocked. Okay, I think we now made it. <laughs> okay, soup can't be stored for up to 747 years. Day one. Okay. Archment unlock family guy. Okay, okay. Okay, we get a lot of archments. Not bad. Okay, we have flashlight, axe. Okay, we have Timmy, Mary Chain, Dead, and Dolores. Okay, we have map. Radio, suitcase, checkers, 11 cans of uh, food, box spray, 7 bottles of water, gas mask. Okay. <clears throat> Day 1. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we were all together, we can make it work down here. Remember, hearing canned soup is healthy for you. I don't think so. We actually re remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for the ups uh, them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really work, <laughs> work in your favor. Okay. Hey, look what we found in the suitcase we crapped upstairs. Good thing we didn't unpack our holiday luggage. Our shelter uh, shelves are full of cans, we eat from cans, we sleep on cans, we even talk to cans. <laughs> some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best socket shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure this is good amount of supplies. Okay, okay, so we have to raise so the food and the water. Okay, let's go at least first day without food or water, because they probably have already eaten and drink enough. What we would, uh, would keep to be able to enjoy the sunshine again, we can say there's a lot of light underground, we don't expect it to get any brighter down here. Okay, this is pretty good mu music. Okay, a little bit of a Geiger counter. Okay, that is you are still alive, and uh, Timmy is still looking on the wall. May Chain is probably gonna go insane, and Dolores is. Oh shit, I forget my dishes! Okay, everything is still okay. Okay. Okay, everything is okay so far. Okay, day two. We can take care of ourselves. It's always better when things are calm. Lucky nothing new happened to my chain today. Tim is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Dolores is fine and well. As much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter. They say there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Okay, uh, let's give them... Okay, let's... Okay, let's give, just give water. Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk for our health right now. That is vigorous enough to withstand the hazards of wasteland. Dolores? We can send Dolores for an expedition. Mary Jane is feeling excellent. Timmy can do it. Timmy can go to the wasteland. Should we start preparing expectation for tomorrow? Okay, okay. One minute it was all fine and then next we at each other's throats. How did it happen? This is insane. We need to get a grip of ourselves if we are going to survive this. Let's just, just sleep on it.
I'm pretty sure that Dolores or the Mage ain't gonna be the first one who's gonna go insane. Okay, Tim is still looking on the roof. And that is okay. Okay, we gonna we have six bottles of water. Everything is looks like it's fine. Okay, okay, and the gas max is still okay. Day three. We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope this won't happen again. There isn't anything new but I made chain. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. Dolores is she doing quite well or she just can't find anything to complain about today. There's nothing really going on with Ted. Nothing new anyway. Okie dokie. Uh, let's give them food. Okay, enough sitting around. It's time to visit the surface and look f for some additional supplies. Maybe something survived the blast. Maybe someone's still alive. Let's find out. Who would they... Uh, what to take to outside? Uh, okay. Uh, I think Timmy would be the best one. Okay, we can only give him axe. Okay. Let's just hope the best. Day four. Okay, somebody knocked the door. May Chain is feeling safe. Who wouldn't be wouldn't in this coffin sized shelter? Timmy went out to the race and we didn't know what we do if he doesn't come back. Equipment axe. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is a good mood today. We hope it stay this way. Well, technically, the only thing that you can kill now anybody in this shelter is literally the box spray. Or it's not makes you very, very ill. But at least the axe is now gone. There isn't much going on with uh, that. No trouble, nothing new. Okay, about uh, stabbing somebody. Uh, this is nothing good, not a good sign. Okay. Time duration supplies. Um... Uh, Hmm. Let's go without today. Just in case. What that sound? A galloping horse. We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men dressed like they come from a medieval fair. We identified the source of the sound. One of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly while the other was skipping up pretending to be a rider. They said they were looking for some antiquity cop and but they got lost and they would be most grateful if we would let them check our map right we have one okay okay prepper five days okay we have still the map everything looks fine and we have six bottles of water 11 cans of food the freaking box spray gas mask Radio, suitcase, and the flashlight, and the checkers. Day 5. They seem friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us some supplies in exchange. We greatly accepted and wished them luck on their guests. Phone, not now. Getting something to drink for May Jane sounds like the right idea. Doris has to drink sometimes. There is water when that needs it. Okay, let's give them all water. Actually, let's just give them food as well. There are only so many things you can do in the tiny bunker, so we thought, hey, why not play some games? They're not just for kids, you know. And there's a bird. Okay, so far, if we're gonna make even one week, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, there is a broken water bottle now. Okay, day six. We thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. The silence was too annoying and we quickly stopped. May Chain is feeling safe. Who wouldn't be in this cover side shelter? Dolores is fine and, and well. As much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter. No new problems are troubling that this fine morning. Okay, I guess Timmy is not coming back because he is not coming back yet. To the, we met a bunch of people dressed in a what look at a Halloween doctor outfit. They claimed to be a field hospital moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by the hazards of the wasteland. 
The problem is some of the supplies got eaten by something that looked like a Sasquatch. Great. They're asking us if we have any spare hydrogen peroxide. Okay. Hopefully we're gonna get something. Okay, there's seven. Ah, oh, Tim is back and looks pretty hungry, tired. Okay. Okay, we have 12.25 cans of soup. We have 5.25 liters of water. Okay, everything else is... Okay, Timmy, where is the axe? You lost the axe, alright? Day 7, a bottle of really the clean water is the closest we ever get to hydrogen peroxide. The guests were grateful. Anyway, minus one water. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Other wasteland are hostile by definition, but there are some creatures that survive everything you throw at them, even nuclear bombs. One of them was a monkey who seems like it's been through a lot, and yet it was very lively and more than happy to accompany us on our expedition. While exploring one of the streets, our monkey company ran away, only to come back moments later carrying a can of food. It couldn't open it himself, but it was happy to share it with us. Okay, two cans of soup. At one point during our expedition, the monkey started making weird sounds and digging it in front of us with a stick. A quick inspection really uh, revealed a few bottles of water. No one even tried to open them. The same couldn't be said about those bottles of booze lying the next to them. Even after nuclear fallout. People are still getting drunk and don't care about butter. Okay, plus one butter. We returned from the expedition, but our axe didn't make it. And that was our, our only weapon. It's interesting how well Mary Jane is handling this situation. She looks fine today. Jim is very hungry and tired. If there was anything to report about Dolores, this is where it won't be written. There's nothing going on with Ted. Nothing new anyway. Let's give Timmy bolt. Okay, the contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging in this condition could result in radiation sickness. Ted is happy to risk his life in the wastes. We can send Dolores for an expedition. Wasteland is no match for Maid Chain. Timmy is. sending Timmy out? Out of the question! Should we start preparing a expedition for tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, so arriving down there, uh, down here is no walk in the park. It won't get easier. We hope this blow over soon and life will be back to what it used to be, or else we might face dangers we never dream of. Yeah. But hey, day eight, we have still over a week and everybody's still alive. Day 8. Some mornings we feel a bit hopeless. We need to pull ourselves together and be more optimistic. The army can't be far. We soon get Mary Jane something to drink. Tim is very hungry. Dolores has to drink sometimes where is water when that needs it. Actually, let's eat now so we can go on day 9 and maybe day 10 without food. We are feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. The only thing left us to do is to the right person to go outside, and Timmy is not going. So I think Dolores will be. Okay. Uh... Okay, if we can give her the suitcase, we can give him mask, the map, and the box spray. Because we don't have any weapons and we're gonna need the flashlight, I guess. And the checkpoint. And the radio. And if we give him map, her map, I guess if she finds the batteries, we can get the radio working. And if he finds a lot of stuff, he can, uh, she can use the shortcut for that. Okay, let's just hope the best <laughs> that the dollar is not gonna die in the first five minutes. Okay, we have 11 cans of soup, and we have 4 bottles of water. Okay. Day 9. Mayton isn't boy, or at least she's not saying so 
out loud. Demi should eat something. Doris is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she make it back safe and sound. That says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Okay, who was uh, hungry? Okay. Yeah, let's give Timmy a little bit of soup. Actually, yeah. Anybody, uh, anybody else? Okay. Everybody is okay. We always wanted to throw a party with a huge cake. For some reason it never worked. One time we were promised a great cake and it turned out it was a lie. That was a disappointment. We weren't glad. We definitely getting a cake when the radioactive claws are gone. Okie dokie. Day 10. I will survive on judgment unlocked. Four more days and we have two weeks done. And everybody's still alive. Okay, Tim is tired. Okay, we have... 7... Uh, 10.75 or... Yeah, I think that is 7. Cans of soup and 4 bottles of butter. Our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. May Chen says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Tim is on his best behavior. How long will it last? This morning has been calm enough for Ted and he's doing well. Time duration supplies. I think you can go one more day. Tim got back to the shelter. Their expectation and looked fine, but it turned out he had hurt his hand. Piece of rusty metal and wound was infected. It doesn't look like it's healing. We have to patch it. Uh, how are you gonna patch a hand with axe? Is my question. <laughs> are you gonna just chop it off? <laughs> and because Timmy lost that freaking axe, I know it was a mistake to give it to him. And we don't have medkit in here, we can do anything, so I guess from these three, I guess Timmy gonna be the first one who gonna die, uh, oh, okay, Timmy is sick and tired and thirsty, and thirsty and thirsty, okie dokie, everything looks fine, otherwise, okay, day 11, the best medicine for any sickness or injury is to clench your teeth and ignore it, medical disclaimer, that is not working. That's what our grandma always said. Of course, she's dead now and has been for a while. Ever since she got that nasty frog bite at the fine age of 25. Water is what made Jane needs more start now. Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. He should drink some. Timmy feel, fell sick. That needs water to survive. Let's keep both. And uh, if the Dolores comes back alive, hopefully he has, she has met it. The wasteland is full of surprises like this man on the other side of our door, knocking and claiming that he is willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition and how we trade. Uh, the problem is that we don't have any ammunition and I think, I think if we can give this one, we have nothing else to do than look at each other and look on the wall. Day 12, okay, Tim is alive, sick and tired, Medan okay, that is okay. We couldn't tell the stranger was disappointed, but that was none of our business. If ever was a time to get used to life being disappointing, the end of the world is prob probably it. The impressive how well Medan is handling this situation, she looks like looks fine today. Tim is still quite sickly. This morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. Time to rest and supplies. This dreadful silence is becoming boring, and like a happy model family, we don't have that many things to talk about. Is there anything we can do about it? Anything at all? Let's put the radio working. Okay, at least we have fly in here. Okay, imagine that that is okay, but Timmy is still sick and tired. Day 13, uh, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? Uh, I don't think so. If you find 
any radio wave that is working, you should actually not go in that location where they tell you because that means they're gonna be waiting you to come there and then kill you and take your stuff. My chain is feeling safe, who wouldn't in this coffin such shelter? Timmy needs an extra blanket, he's shivering at all the time. That says there's no need to worry about him, he's okay. Okay, let's actually let's just feed them all. It's difficult to keep our spirits up in this situation. We ho do hope the whole mess will be over soon, or else we might end up in a place much worse than this cozy shelter. And there is a cat and mouse. Okay, day 14, two weeks done. And Timmy is sick and tired. Medicine okay, that is okay. Being stuck in such a tiny shelter will uh, make anyone a bit apathetic. We need to stay calm and wait to rescue, so it is coming for us, right? Maybe. <laughs> May Jane is feeling safe, who wouldn't in this coffin such shelter again? Tim is still quite sickly. No need problems are troubling that is fine that this uh, fine morning. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we have to leave eventually it will be good to head straight to the safety, instead of getting ourselves in more trouble if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy has comics about those, so you know, there must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military. Let's try the radio and hope that this... Okay, there is some extra... Okay, dollar is back! And I'm hungry and tired. Okay, see. Okay, medicine, okay, dead, okay. Okay, big. Uh, oh, come on, Dolores. Why you broke the gas mask? Hey, we get padlock and key. Okay, that is good. We knew it. The government has not fallen and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact date on their radio transmission, but we. So they won't keep us waiting long. They said they would be in touch in a couple of days and told us to await further instructions. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland, okay? Who are you gonna call when the world is on fire? The fire department. We were thrilled to find the place is still running. Firefighters redecorated the place and redid their outfits. Most of the walls were messy and they painted in black and red, and the fireman helmet now has green skull symbol on it. We never thought our local firefighter had such artistic souls. So alternative. Near the garage, we found a few firefighters shooting off some giant muted cockroaches with f a fire hose. <laughs> we joined it on their fun and managed to uh, fill some water with water in the process. Okay, three water. At the back of the station, we found a few lockers filled with hand grenades and landmines. We are not sure why firefighters have an arsenal of this caliber, but we unlocked and took the padlock that was used to seal the lockers, and you didn't take the grenades. Damn it, our gas mask is damaged during the expedition. Damn it, we really like that suit. Get well, it's gone now. Mayton says she's fine and doesn't need anything. If we don't get, uh, do anything about Timmy's sickness, it must get worse. Doris has not, not eaten for a while, Doris is really tired. No new problems are troubling that this fine morning. Just eat. Ring ring. There we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again, when suddenly the phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figure out the phone would across the street. Should someone go to answer it? Um, Mary Jane, it's your time. Please don't die! <laughs> okay, Mary Jane is alive. Timmy is tired and sick. Mary Jane, okay, that's okay. And uh, is hungry and tired. Okay, nothing new. Day 16. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They set themselves as survived from the nearby town of Hill Valley. 
We have started to exchange the information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Nothing made us happier than the size of May chain returning to shelter from the surface. There isn't anything new for the May chain. If we don't get to do anything about team sickness, it might get worse. Though I would really love to eat something that is fine. Okay, let's check. Uh, team is uh, sick and tired. Uh, May chain, okay, that okay. Okay. And this looks like the area is still radi irradiated. Going to the baseline right now is unsafe unless you don't might get sick. Okay. Girl is too exhausted to go outside. If TV goes out, out right now, he might die. Major is more ready to go. And okay, Major, it's you. Piston Bob on the remains of a bandit. Chanty Town? Someone or something tore it down, incidentally, no. a mist, the rubble of we found a cat licking its paws, no chantantly, surrounded by blood and dismembered limbs. As we made it our way back to the shelter, the cat followed, we can now hear it paws impatiently scratching our hatch, should we let it inside? Okay, okay. Do we actually get cat here? Out of the bag, cat. Okay, <laughs> and the cat is freaking stone. Cat name is uh, Shabri Sharikov. Okay, Timmy is sick and tired. Dollar, uh, Mary Chen, okay, that okay. Okay, Dollar is hungry again. Day 17, and also this is gonna be the last day because after this I need to end the video. Okay, day 17, when we opened the hatch, the cat jumped in and marched around the whole shelter, sniffing all of us every wall, corner, empty soap can, and piece of furniture. Finally, it picked up a quiet place, sat down, and let out deep sighs before taking a 12 hour nap. Its color has Shavikov etched into it. What kind of name is that? May change seems to find today. Hopefully, it stay that way. Timmy needs to extra blanket. He's shivering all the time. Doris has not eaten for a while. That seems to be doing all right, even though the world has gone to a uh, crappy place. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Some of us are keener to go outside than others. Either way, it's time to choose the most able to res responsible person for the quest and to gather more supplies. It's gonna be you, Dollar. Uh, no, what the? Ma Mary Chain. Okay, we can give you a map. Radio box. Uh, I'm gonna give you a map. Don't lose it. And actually, let's go in the day 20. It's gonna be the best, probably. Okay, Timmy is sick, tired, and thirsty. Thirsty and sick. Okay, that's what the hell you do. That seems to have developed an allergy to our fried guest. He's been coughing and sneezing all night long. We should try giving him some medication. Major went outside. Let's hope she hurts back soon. How about getting Timmy something to drink? Okay. Dolores is fine and well, as much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter. There is water. When that needs it, that becomes infected with something. Take both. The other day we heard a quiet knock on our door, but we went open to only found a suitcase on the doorstep and there was no other one around. It isn't tiny, but it sure looks like it means for us. Okay. Let's hope the best. Okay, day 19. Okay, everybody's alive. Okay, I don't see anything new in here. Day 19. Damn it, the gift of booby trapped. There was nothing inside besides some chunk and so on as we opened it to it get exploded. Is anybody hurt? Timmy got hurt. What a surprise. Doris is doing quite well or she just can't find anything to complain about today. Ted hasn't recovered from his illness yet. Okay. We know very little about what's going on outside. It'd be a good idea to find out more maybe discover if anybody else made it to the safety. A radio could help out with this. Okay, okay. And day 20, Turbulence Archment unlocked.
Okay. Sick, hurt, tired, sick, and tired. Okay, okay, let's read it. Okay. Day 20. People are able to get some weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service. To guess what? Great news! The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Tim is still quite sickly. Doll is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about today. Tim is still sick. Okay. We stumbled upon the weird signal when Chancellor Radio figured we pretty sure that behind, behind layers of table static and screens we could hear voice, a voice speaking for a boy and running. Oh dear, what it is the Soviets. Uh, I'm not sure if this game is like in the 50s or 60s or because the Soviet government fell down in in early 90s. Okay, we should probably listen to it, but what about the children? Okie dokie, and day 21. And this is where the video gonna end. Thank you for watching and hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as I did. This gonna be a whole series, because I wanna try to even complete they try to complete this game. Also, there's a stick figure on the wall now. And the cat, the cat is alive. Okay, sick. Agony, tired. Sick, tired, fatigue. Okay, okay, everything looks otherwise fine. But yeah, thank you for watching. And if you like my content, maybe you leave a like, comment, or even subscribe. New content every day. If there's day without new uploads, check Instagram slash Discord server. All links to my social medias down below and see you in the next one.